Okay. Now there are um, a number of variations uh, that we don't have time to go into today, but I will give you sort of a lead, uh, and then there'll be more discussion of this in future webinars. Um, for example, if you wanted to control variation in uh, two dimensions, uh, you could use a, a modified Uden square. Uh, the references are given there. Uh, you could also use a, a row column design if you wanted to. Um, and then uh, one uh, modification of interest is these, uh, the modified augmented designs you see at the bottom. These actually use a systematic placement of controls, um, which uh, you know, it ha has some de desirable features. Um, there was a type 2 modification uh, was particularly for the case where you have long rectangular plots, like as you see in the picture below there, uh, those are some um, barley test plots. And um, barley, uh, the barley breeding program here is using these um, MAD type 2 uh, designs in the preliminary stages of their uh, breeding program. Uh, other possibilities uh, would include uh, an uh, augmented split block. Say, for example, you wanted to test not only new entries, but also look at adaptation to different, um, uh, say, different stresses. You wanted to have a well-watered and a, and a, a drought-stressed um, treatment. You could combine those type. You could, in, in factorial combinations of treatments could be uh, analyzed with the augmented split block. If you had a large number of checks you wanted to include in the experiment, you could use an augmented lattice square or an alpha-alpha lattice, and, and references are um, provided there. Um, interesting uh, paper was published recently um, on augmented PREP uh, designs. And because the feature of this is that you would actually replicate some but not all of your new entries, and then you might do this across multiple sites. So at, say at one site, you might replicate um, the first 10 entries, and then another site, uh, the, the next 10 entries, and so on. So by the time you collect the information from all sites, everything would have been replicated at least uh, that second time. Um, and uh, yeah, so then it, because you have the replication of, of the entries, you're not, it's not necessary to include um, all of the controls that we typically include in augmented designs. There's also um, information uh, published on how to um, combine in information across sites. As you can see, the Federer, um, Reynolds, and Crosa uh, reference there. Um, and then additionally, some of you may be interested in uh, combining trend analysis with augmented designs. And it, I would then refer you to a couple of articles that are in the supplemental list of references, um, a book um, uh, that came out in 2003 that has a couple um, uh, articles by Federer uh, that show how to combine both the trend analysis and the augmented designs. Uh, if you're actually going to go uh, and, and use augmented designs across locations, uh, you know, you have the option also to use lattice designs, in which case you could consider your sites to be um, complete replications and then have one rep of a lattice design within each um, location. Uh, the advantage of this is that then you're using information from all of your plots uh, to adjust means for field effects. So um, I don't know this with certainty, but it seems uh, likely that you could have greater precision uh, to uh, detect differences among your entries in that situation. However, um, there are other situations where you might prefer to go ahead and use augmented designs across um, locations. One desirable feature is that you have very flexible arrangement of new entries um, in your field plans. I read one paper where, uh, for, you know, for participatory plant breeding, for example, where you could actually have growers recommending uh, varieties, uh, different augmented varieties at different sites. Um, you could also then obtain an estimate of experimental error from each location. So uh, you could use this to assess your site quality to do um, analysis of G by E interactions. And then you, at the end of the day, you have more flexibility 
in deciding how you want to do your cross-site analyses, which sites you want to um, combine together. 